fact, the bridge was rebuilt and now maintained. The singular focus has been on safety, not only using physical barriers, which did not exist when the tragedy took place in 1980, but also using first of its kind technology. First thing that went in my mind when I saw the stories this morning was that um, Skyway Bridge disaster all over again. When it comes to safeguarding the Skyway Bridge, Mark Luther is the guy just about everyone turns to for expertise and guidance. Yeah, most of the time, yeah, I'm at the top of the list. Luther, who works for USF Marine Science, says dozens of concrete barriers called dolphins, which protect the Skyway from collision, is just the beginning of an ongoing effort that carries on the goal of those who rebuilt the bridge four decades ago. That was one of their prime goals was to make sure that this bridge was as difficult to knock down as they could possibly make it with the technology of the day. And the technology hasn't, hasn't changed that much. That technology is the protection you can't see. The ports system is a series of buoys and monitors relaying information to ships before they reach the bridge. There are 15 sites with 36 individual sensors total that are again measuring winds, waves, currents, tides, fog, air gap and it comes in every six minutes by satellite and cellular modem and line of sight radio. Today Skyway says Luther has a long list of firsts that other bridges now use as safeguards making it one of the most protected resilient spans in the world. It would be extremely difficult for a vessel to wander far enough out of the channel that it could knock one of any of those main supports down. Um, don't like to say it's impossible, but it's extremely unlikely. Dr. Luther says he's also heard that the ship involved in today's tragedy likely lost power and drifted into the bridge. He says since rebuilding the Skyway, that has happened a number of times in the channel. He says the pilots and captains of those boats are actually trained now to run their ships aground rather than drifting towards the bridge, averting a potentially greater tragedy. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. We will continue to stay on top of development out of Baltimore. We will send any new information straight to your phone through our free 10 Tampa Bay app.